this video, we'll talk about Lightning Node Connect, or LNC. It's a novel mechanism to create an end-to-end -end encrypted connection between a Lightning Network node and another device, such as a mobile app or web browser. It's a secure connection protocol that is fast and works even when a node is behind Tor or a NAT, for example, on a home network. If you're a builder, LNC is a fabulous tool for allowing your users to connect their nodes to your service. Here we'll discuss the various libraries that you can utilize to add LNC to your application. We'll demonstrate how to use LNC in the web app, and then we'll walk through what's happening behind the scenes when you use LNC. Hi, I'm Hannah with Lightning Labs, and if you're unfamiliar with any of the technologies or concepts discussed here, you'll definitely want to check out the docs at docs.lightning.engineering. Those docs are also the best place to go for further reading. So we know that LNC is a method of securely connecting a Lightning node to an external device or service. And in case you're thinking about using it, let's get right into the libraries available. First up is the Lightning Node Connect GitHub repo at github.com slash lightning lab slash lightning dash node dash connect. This is mostly a Golang repo that also contains LNC mobile, which consists of the library files for iOS or Android. Just run make Android or make iOS to get the library files for your platform of choice. LNC Web is a node package available via NPM that helps a developer to make use of LNC in a web project. We'll dive into the LNC Web node package in just a second with a demonstration of how to add this node package to a web app. Another node package that is now available is LNCRN. This is a wrapper for the mobile library files that you can pull into your React Native application. So let's walk through how you can make use of LNC in your project with a demo. I've got a simple React Native web app set up. Uh, this is a very simple web app that just allows you to add your node alias to a meme. Cool. So right now, what we do is we go to the site, enter your node alias in the form, and then generate a meme. Simple, but fun but can we make this even cooler with LNC? And of course we can. Here is how you can add LNC to this React Native TypeScript project. The code used here to establish the connection can be found in the demos directory of the LNC web repo found at github.com slash lightning labs slash LNC dash web. First, let's have a look at the structure of this simple web app. We have components and we have pages. Currently, we have just one page, the home page. For components, we have one for our page and one where we use the string pulled into our form to make our meme. And you can see here that we are collecting the string from the form and adding that to our meme. So now that we want to upgrade to using LNC to automatically pull in a node alias, we'll have to make a few changes. First, we'll add LNC web as a dependency. And for this project, we've created a use LNC hook. Again, this file is in the demo in the LNC web repo. We are going to add two new pages, login and connect, which give users the forms they need to enter their connection info and then pass that info along to the LNC module. Again, these files are taken from the demo in the repo. We'll also need to make sure that our app file knows about this. Now we already have our make meme component, so I'm just going to alter that to import the use LNC hook to check that we are connected to a node, and then I'll get rid of this form and replace it with the alias of the node that we are connected to. And that's the gist of it. So we can save our changes and go back over to our web app. Now we can head over to our node and generate a connection string. Here we are using a read-only connection option, and then we'll enter that connection string on the site. It will automatically pull in our node alias and create a meme for us. If I wanted to turn this web app into a mobile app, I could add the LNCRN module to the project. So we've seen what it can do, but to understand how it works, let's start by covering the different components and then we'll get into the connection process. There are three major components the Lightning Terminal Daemon, or LitD, the Mailbox Proxy, and the WebAssembly Client. LitD is a program that runs alongside your node. Currently, this works with LND nodes, and it gives you access to other daemons. 
Lit D is a single binary that integrates a number of other binaries to give you access to a whole set of functionality all in one. Now, Lit D does two things for us here. First, it manages the sessions and permissions that LNC uses to connect to your node. And second, when you connect your node through Lit D, this means that you gain access to all the functionality from the included binaries. In short, Lit D enables the connection uh, to your LND node, and connecting your node via LNC gives you access to all of Lightning Lab's stack of services. The second component here is the mailbox proxy, and we'll dive into what this does a bit more when we walk through the connection process. But this is a public mailbox that acts as a relay, specifically a proxy called traversal using relays around NAT or simply turn. This creates a connection stream, which is created from the pairing phrase. All traffic to and from the mailbox is encrypted with a noise encryption layer. This mailbox functionality is built into Aperture, which is also free and open source software. Links below. Now, here are a few important notes on this mailbox. Right? This mailbox, which acts as a turn relay, enables your node that may be sitting in your home using your home network to communicate with external services without having to worry about networking issues such as port forwarding. You also may be wondering about the privacy implications of using a mailbox. A mailbox provider can only see encrypted traffic along the route. Your node's private information, such as private channels, on-chain balances, etc., all remains private. The second important note here is that while Lightning Labs runs a mailbox service, there is no need to use that mailbox. Other mailbox services are available, and as this is open public technology, you can run your own mailbox if you like. And next is the WebAssembly client, or simply WASM. And if you're not already familiar with WASM, it's a way to bundle up some code in binary format so that it's easier for a browser to run it in a much more performant way. In the example of using LNC to connect your node to the Lightning Terminal site, the WASM file is downloaded and run in the browser to allow JavaScript running on the site to more effectively use that bit of code. The WASM talks to the mailbox and all of the services available via LitD. So now that we're familiar with the components, let's walk through the connection process using the example of connecting your at-home node to the Lightning Terminal website. Now, we're going to skip discussing the math that goes into this. A more detailed description that includes some of the math can be found at docs.lightning.engineering. So this process kicks off when you use LitD, which will generally be running alongside your node on the same machine, to create a session and to generate a connection string. Now, this connection string is a 10-word mnemonic pairing phrase. It's 10 English words from which a 64-byte stream ID can be derived. Once a session is created in LitD, an outbound connection to the mailbox proxy is established from LitD, waiting for a handshake with the browser. This allows a connection to be made to a node that is behind a firewall or NAT or even a Tor-only internet connection. In this connection process, a connection stream is created identified by the 512-bit ID that's derived from that pairing phrase. This makes it virtually impossible for anyone to occupy a stream they weren't authorized to. The pairing phrase needs to be given to the Lightning Terminal site by clicking Connect My Node and entering the 10 words. After entering the connection string, the user will need to set a password. In this process, new keys are created and stored so that the pairing phrase is only needed once when establishing the connection. After the initial connection, LitD then starts to listen for incoming connections through the proxy. Listening on the stream with the derived ID and the user can return to the site and connect using just their password. A number of different handshakes happen in this process. Password Authenticated Key Exchange, or PAKE, combined with the noise handshake and the noise protocol is used to encrypt ongoing communications. So there you have it. That's what LNC is, an overview of its components and how it works, and last but not least, how you can use it to connect your nodes or allow your users to connect their nodes to external devices and services. And as always, don't forget to check out the docs at docs.lightning.engineering.